I am uh, Dr. Ashok Kumar from New Delhi. I am director professor in uh, Molana Ajad Medical College and Lok Naik Hospital. Actually, uh, initially we were not aware of anything about HIFU. We have only read and heard about MRI guided uh, treatment of these patients. But uh, when I came to uh, know about HIFU, then I came in this Chongqing for one month and uh, I had undergone training in a workshop for one month and where I learned about everything. Uh, we learned about how to put his HIFU, how it is useful to the patient and how we can use it in our specialty in uh, gynecology and in obstetric also. There are few indication in obstetric also. So we can uh, benefit the patient and that program of one month was very extensive uh, program and we had uh, uh, hands-on experience also. We had lectures and uh, we saw actually that how the treatment is monitored also globally in various centers the treatment is monitored by the uh, Chongqing Center and uh, we learned about the technique. We have seen the patient how it is being done. We had two to three hours session with the patients and where we used to treat the patient and uh, we saw everything. And uh, we had experimental model also with the ox liver also. So we learned that what is the effect means we have given high food to the uh, experimental liver and then we saw how and what happens uh, to the tissue. So it was a really amazing experience and uh, I was really, uh, really impressed by the technology and we are trying that uh, to promote that in India and uh, the company is looking for some installation in India. It is really useful for our patients uh, like in gynecology we have fibroid and we have adenomyoma in that really it is beneficial to the patient without uh, any surgical involvement. See surgery the patient will have all the problems of surgery right and blood loss. Then we have medical management also for these uh, treat, uh, conditions, we have medicines also. But medicine can be given for a short time, it cannot be given for a long time. But with HIFU we have a long lasting effect, right? it is beneficial to the patient, we do not need to do the surgery. So there is no possibility of infection, which is infection is a major problem in our country where uh, uh, we have to deal with these problems and hemorrhage. So these are the two conditions in which. Uh, uh, HIFU prevents, uh, there is no question of infection and hemorrhage with the HIFU. So that is a very, very important advantage of this for our country. And uh, beside this, we have other indication like in obstetric also, uh, there is adherent placenta we have learned from these uh, in the literature also, there are papers also that uh, when there is adherent placenta after delivery, so to decrease the blood lo loss because patient will have bleeding. So in that situation also HIFU can be used for focal adherent placenta. So with that it also gives some uh, uh, benefit to the patient. So basically without surgery and sometime when the patient is uh, ill, you cannot operate the patient also. In that situation also this condition is very useful. Yeah. See at the moment the HIFU technique is not there in India. right? Uh, they are trying to put machines in India at least and uh, but it has a very bright future. I am promoting, I promote it in different parts of the country this technique in small small conferences and, uh, uh, and where we had the gathering of 200, 500 people there I have promoted. We had, I had given the talk and uh, uh, lectures in the conferences for uh, HIFU. So that people, uh, the important thing is as we have to make awareness also with the patient as well as with the doctors also, right. So with the doctors, we are, I am doing the promotion and uh, let's see very soon it should be in, the, in India. And another advantage is uh, in India, there is a medical tourism, right. So with that, uh, I feel that uh, uh, this technique will be very useful. In India, actually, see, we have two issues which uh, I think company has to look into. One is about the finances, see because of uh, we are developing countries, no? we are not, uh, so everyone wants a assurance and uh, some help in the finance, right, before they put the machine. The second is 
uh, once the machine is installed, then some service for maintenance. Because these are the issues which we face in India. Definitely, this is the technique which is a very new and innovative technique founded uh, by Chongqing only. So, we, uh, it should be, we, uh, we, we will be interested to have this technology in India.